The world of technology in the home and office is evolving. The desktop computer is being challenged by the rapid growth of mobile and touchscreen devices. Today, Designing Spaces meets up with Ken Newman from Dust Off to get tips on the proper care of our mobile touchscreen devices, laptops, and other household treasures. So Ken, in today's world, how many of us carry our mobile devices everywhere? Guilty. Exactly. Think about it, you put them in and out of your purses, into your pockets, into your carry-ons. They're in your hands through all different kinds of activities and frankly they get kind of gross and kind of grungy, right? Exactly. And this has been a, an issue that we have dealt with for generations. I mean, I can remember back when my father, he had the old 35 millimeter cameras with, you know, the lenses, and he would keep cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and I'd ask him why and he'd say, well, I have to keep it clean in order for it to work properly. That's how the dust off compressed gas duster was originated. It was designed for cleaning photographic negatives, keeping dust and debris off of them without touching them so you didn't transfer fingerprints. And then as technology emerged and computers came about, technicians found that the pressurized blast from our duster was ideal for keeping dust and debris off of fans to keep them running cool and efficiently and preventing crashes, which could be a tremendous expense at that time. So it all started with these canned air sprayers. So how does it work? Well, Kelly, that's actually a misconception. It's actually not air in a can. It's actually a chemically based product and it's really important to consider this fact in order to appreciate one of the most important usage tips in using a compressed gas duster. And that is don't sit, tilt the can too severely. Don't shake it before or during use because if you do so, you're gonna dispense the liquid propellant out of the can. I see you learn something new every day. Absolutely, hopefully. Well, what happens when it does get dirty? If dust or debris builds up around your fans inside mm -hmm. the computer, it could cause performance issues. Maybe they become slow or it could even cause them to crash. If you consider how many people eat at their desk and you mm -hmm. think about your keyboard and your telephone pad and your mouse, keeping the particles out of the, underneath the keys could prevent it from sticking. So cleaning the keyboard and the telephone pad promotes a healthier workspace. In fact, there was a study done several years ago that indicated that your workspace is dirtier than your bathroom. Oh, I'll never look at my, my office the same again. So I guess the next step is to put this to the test. Absolutely. First thing we do is we're gonna take the compressed gas duster, and as I encourage, don't shake. <laughs> Tilt your laptop on its side, and you start to spray underneath the keys. Oh, wow. Tons of germs that are getting trapped underneath that you don't think about. Cookie crumbs, you know, lunch of different particles could cause the keys to stick, but basically keeping it clean. From there, we'll move on to the screen. Very simple process. Liquid screen, uh, screen spray, mm -hmm. spray it right onto the screen. And as you can see, it stays right where it is. So you don't have to worry about too much run. A little light pressure, move the microfiber cleaning cloth across the screen. Wow, that's super easy to And before you know it, you've buffed and polished the screen to look like new. The last step in the process, disinfecting keyboard wipe. Okay, so what about a like a mobile device with a touch screen? And I'm sure this is no surprise to you, but I happen to have one with me and it has little teeny fingerprints from my twins on it, which seems to be a constant problem. Very common, and just like a smartphone, a tablet, anything with a flat okay. screen, you can use the same process that we use to clean the screen. What about the larger, like the desktop computers? Same concept. Same thing, Same thing as the, what we did with the laptop or the smartphone. Mm -hmm. Liquid screen spray, spray it a couple times, light pressure to cover the monitor, and before you know it, it's gonna look just like new. Okay, and as a mom of uh, five-year-olds, the other thing I'm constantly battling is there's fingerprints from one end of my television to the other. Can I use this on that too? Absolutely, same thing. And I have a seven-year-old son, so I know what fingerprints are like on the laptop, on the smartphone, on the tablet, but there's something else you probably didn't think of that you can use these products to clean. Most of us are conscious about taking care of the outside of the car, but we often neglect the inside of the I'm car. I'm guilty. Okay, when you look inside of this car, literally I'm looking at the cup holders. How do we tackle that? A compressed gas duster used with a couple of short blasts, oh, cleans gosh. out the particulates, blows it all out, and then a quick wipe down with a pre-moistened wipe, and you're good to go. Now, if you're talking about the vents, mm -hmm. you can use a compressed gas duster to clean the dust off of the vents, but the key is don't spray it directly into the vents. Spray it across the vents. If you're thinking about the shift knob or other right. nooks and crannies around the dash, same thing, compressed gas duster, quick short blast, dust is removed. Now if you're thinking about your GPS system and your sat nav screen, we have a quick, quick clean pre-moistened wipe for the person who just wants to clean it, be done and move on. So there was also something that I noticed, Kelly, inside the house that could use our attention. Ah, I see where you're going with this. Look at that dust buildup. 
Right, but instead of using a rag, using a compressed gas duster, a few short blasts, you minimize the risk of breakage, and your stuff looks great. Oh, that's a pretty good point, but this time I'm not going to let you have all the fun. Well, that's okay, but remember what it says on the back of the can. Do, Do not, not shake. shake. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, that's pretty cool, quick and easy. Very nicely done. Oh, thanks again for all the great suggestions. And so, how do our viewers get more information about the Dust Off products? They can visit us at www.dust-off.com for our complete product line information, as well as some great usage tips from Dr. Dust Off. Okay, is he a doctor of dustology? Actually, a PhD. <laughs> thanks again. We'll also have a link to the Dust Off website on our website at designingspaces.tv, where you can click on the video and watch this part of the show again. You can also join in on our Facebook conversation at facebook.com forward slash dspacesTV. I'm Kelly Lightborn, and we'll see you next time. I think it's time that we get back to work. Let's go to it. I'm getting pretty good at this, aren't you I? You are. Let's clean the rest of this cabinet.